To grade a Canvas assignment, we go to the Assignments area. So in your course navigation, click on Assignments. Our assignments will be listed. Click on the link for your assignment. This will take you into the assignment details. And from here, you can actually download all your submissions. Uh, we'll be going into SpeedGrader. So click on the SpeedGrader link. Now we're going to be grading a, a group assignment. But it's pretty much the same if you're grading just a normal Canvas assignment. So first of all, you'll notice some tools. You have a link to the gradebook. From here you can mute and unmute the assignment. So what that means is that you can hide uh, or show the grades for assignment to students. There's some keyboard shortcuts that can help you with grading, quick link to help, and a setting area that will let you change the order of which the student submissions are listed. So that can be quite handy. To grade on the assignment, and because this is a group assignment, we can first of all put some comments on the page. So there's a pointer tool. So we can pick different colors, point to a particular component on the page and leave a comment. There's also a highlight tool where we can highlight particular bits of um, text. Again, you can put a comment associated with that highlight. There is a text area where we can actually write text onto the page, strike through, so we can select and strike through text, and a pen tool. So with the pen tool, you can do any marks on the page that you like. So you can draw on the page, you can do a tick on the page. So I'm just going to delete this comment off. So all of these comments will go on to every member's group assignment. For the grades and feedback, it will depend on how the assignment settings have been put up. So it will either be set up for students to receive individual marks or group marks. And you can tell this when you're grading by uh, what you'll see up here in the navigation area. So in this assignment, it has individual students who receive grades. And I'll just flip over to another one and here you will see group work one. So for this particular assignment setup, each group will receive the same grade. So I'll just flip back to uh, the one we're working in and we can go through some of the grading. So we have a rubric here. Now I'm just going to, there's a little area on the navigation. If you just drag, click and drag that over, you'll be able to use your rubric a little bit more easily. So you can see it a little bit more easily. So click on each of these criteria to give the level of attainment that you feel is appropriate. You can also put a comment in here as well for each of these items. Once you're done, scroll down and click save. So this will put the grade onto the assessment. If I just scroll down, you can also put general comments on here as well. So you can either write with text, uh, you can add an attachment, uh, you can do a video recording. And you can send this comment to the whole group or if you don't tick it, it will just go to the member that you're writing on. So when you're happy with all of your comments, click Submit. And you'll get a little notification saying that your comment has been submitted. So now we'll just navigate to the next assignment and you can do that by clicking on the navigation arrows or you can go to the drop down list and select any of the students from this list, which will take you to the next assignment you need to grade.